PVC pipe with a diameter of four centimeters. I cut the PVC pipe into three centimeter pieces. Cut another piece of PVC two millimeters in size. I used special glue, carefully glued the two millimeter PVC pipe to the two ends of the three centimeter PVC pipe. We will use one millimeter diameter copper wire wrapped around the plastic tube. I used a four centimeter diameter round magnet and glued it to one end of the plastic tube I made. We used a flat sheet of PVC and cut it into a plus shape. I made a hole in that plus piece to connect to the motor shaft. I used small magnets two centimeters in diameter and glued them to the four wings of the plus sign. Note, stick it on opposite poles. I use a connecting wire to power the motor.
We used a wooden plank to make a base for the generator. Next, I will glue the magnet shaft to the wooden base. I glued the copper coils I made onto the wooden board. Note, glue them symmetrically in a square. We will use a soldering iron to join the two ends of the copper coil together. I use transformer circuit to get electricity from copper coil for use in electrical devices. I will use one Arapto to power the motor. After I connect the Arapto to the socket of the copper coil and use my hand to activate the magnet to rotate, we see the magnet shaft has been rotating without any sign of stopping. Let me check out how this perpetual generator works when using electrical appliances. I will use a fan. Next, I used one more incandescent bulb. Great, it works great.
Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, leave a comment below the video, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.